Happy Monday, everyone! Today is the last Monday of this month. Summer is slowly coming to an end. Autumn is approaching. I'm so excited for autumn. I'm not excited for shorter days, but I am excited for autumn and just the autumnal things. Halloween is my favorite time of the year, and I'm also excited to decorate for autumn. So right now, I actually want to see the decorations that I have for autumn, Halloween, and also maybe buy some. I may go to buy some. Ooh, and also on the 23rd of August, Babel by Arif Kwan came out and I'm so excited to read that book. But when I went into the bookstore, they didn't have it because they are having some stock problems with the book. So they told me to wait a week and then come back this week. So I did. I went back today and is this filming? Okay, I thought it was filming for a second. <laughs> so I went back today and they told me that they are still having some problems. So instead, what I did was order the book online from them. So they told me that I'm still going to need to wait around two weeks. But it's fine, I can wait. But I'm just so excited to read the book. And I keep seeing reading vlogs of people reading that book. And I still don't want to watch any of those reading vlogs. I'm just adding all of them to my watch later on YouTube. So whenever I have the book with me physically and I start reading the book, I'm going to watch those videos. So yes, I'm very excited to read that book. But in some ways it works because I'm currently reading a book that I'm also loving. So that book is Dracula by Brian. I'm stalker. I'm absolutely loving this book. I now have two weeks to read this book. Well, if it takes longer than two weeks, it's fine. I can read two books at the same time. I'm annotating this book quite a lot and underlining so many things and just adding so many historical context information that I'm learning thanks to this book. The last week, the 23rd of August, when I went to a bookstore to buy Babel, I actually ended up buying three different books and one of them was Dracula by Bram Stoker. The other one was The Lottery and Other Stories by the one and only Shirley Jackson. This is going to be my third book by Shirley Jackson. I also own The Hunting of Hill House and I also bought Only Dull People Are Brilliant at Breakfast by Oscar Wilde. It's a non-fiction book and it's about essays. But yes, that book that I'm currently reading is Dracula. I've seen some people on booktube read this book. I haven't seen the greatest reviews but after reading the first 100 pages i'm like are we reading the same book because this is amazing like i'm absolutely having the time of my life while reading this book the dark gothic spooky gloomy atmosphere is there there's so many things that i'm loving about this book and i just can talk about it for days and days today is supposed to rain but i don't know now if it's going to happen because it hasn't rained in Gosh, I don't know how many months. This summer in Spain was brutal. The weather this summer, never seen before. If you come to Spain this summer, it's not our typical weather. It does get pretty hot in the south and center of Spain, but I live in the Mediterranean coast. For us, a heat wave is like 30, 33 degrees. Our summers are hot, but they're not brutal. This summer it was. We had some days with 38 degrees degrees celsius 38 degrees i've never experienced that in my life this summer was brutal it was so hot that i couldn't go to the beach because the water was 30 degrees the water like my shower was colder than the mediterranean sea if you do not believe in global warming come to spain you will leave it here well, in Spain and in so many other countries, like the entire world, is experiencing global warming. Anyways, I do not want to make everyone cry because after this summer, I've truly experienced the climate anxiety. Thankfully, summer is coming to an end, so I'm going to be able to breathe when I go outside. But anyways, right now I'm going to go for a walk with my beautiful dog, with Betty, the love of my life, my absolute best friend.
so for annotating my books i bought some tabs at one of my local shops but whenever i remove them from the page it erases the ink of the paper so i did is search online some tabs that readers use everyone talked about these ones it also has one black column but i used all of them so yes i used these ones and i really like them so i ended up buying <laughs> A lot more very happy with them now i'm going to put them in my box where i have all my annotation supplies i also have these clear post-it notes for annotating and then i have these ones i can do a video talking about my annotations more in depth if you want me to and also right now i'm going to start editing some videos there's a kid okay bye write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. Medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits are necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. Just look up to the sound of pouring rain. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Today is the 31st of August. It's the last day of the month and it's pouring rain. And it's colder today as well, so it's a good end to month. It's currently past 11 p.m. and I'm actually watching the Vampire Diaries. I don't know how many seasons there are, but I know I haven't seen the last two or three maybe. I used to watch the show as it was coming out. I just stopped watching it for some reason, but I was really not sure to watch a vampire show since Unring Dracula. Also an update with Dracula. I'm on page 250 or so. I'm tapping so many things and so many sentences that just make me daydream. It makes me daydream in the sense that I feel like the author truly knows how to make you feel the atmosphere like for example in some instances he describes that when they go outside everything is dark but the alleyways lit him by a dark light and also that the reflection of the moonlight is showing in her pale skin and you can see her teeth are becoming sharper and sharper the way he's describing everything it just truly makes you feel like you're living the story in some way and the dark atmosphere truly captures you into the story so i'm absolutely loving that and i'm absolutely loving this book and i'm just 
I'm having a great time, like I've already said. I would recommend reading this book during spooky season. I truly think it's a marvelous read. And honestly, it also makes me kind of scared in some instances because I think it's the description that the author is making. I'm sad that I'm going to finish it because these are the type of books that once you've read them, nothing will ever compare to them. Like there's so many books that I absolutely love. I know there's not another book that comes similar to that book. So if you have any recommendations that are similar to Dracula by Bram Stoker, please do let me know because I'm in a hand to find something that will fill the void that this book is going to create into my heart. I'm going to continue watching The Vampire Diaries before going to bed. Also, today is the last day of August. For me, summer doesn't end until the autumn equinox. So in my mind, I still have some weeks left of summer and also I'm still going to go to the beach. It's just going to be hotter for a few days, but I'm just trying to savor this last few weeks of summer and, and slowly transition into autumn because as much as I hated the heat this summer, I'm not ready for shorter days like I need light, like light as in daylight. I'm excited for fall, but I still need these last few days of summer. And also tomorrow it's September 1st, so I'm really in the mood to go have a pumpkin spice frappuccino, not latte. I never go to Starbucks unless it's like a first page location, so I think I'm going to go. Anyways. I, I hope you guys have a lovely autumn, a lovely September, and just a lovely end of the year and a lovely life. <laughs> and I will see you very soon. Bye!